Yeah, this is Matt Black inside the booth again. Um, today we've got a 1963 Chevy Impala in here. Body, so original OEM type, uh, baby bluish, light blue color. Uh, for the roof, it's going to be full flaked out roof uh, with panels to see the road again. Take care. What's up, everybody? Uh, we're back in the booth again, and since the last time, uh, I got all of the bodywork done, ready to paint. I've got the bodywork done, and uh, there's a little bit of bare metal showing, but it doesn't really matter because the DTS will cover it up. Um, it's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to be shooting it with the House of Color K3000. See 3000 series and it's going to be mixed four to one. We're going to use it as a high build um, surfacer. Uh, four to one. Uh, it's going to be nice and thick. Going to put a nice fat coat on the car and uh, that's about that. And I'm finally getting to paint this 1963 Impala SS. This one's a long time coming. Been trying to paint this one for a while. <laughs> never seem to be able to. Always something getting in the way. And today is finally the day. I'm going to be shooting it with a custom mix paint. Custom mix that I did with Anthony over at Collision 360. Thank you very much, Anthony. It's a nice blue. Very light blue. That's going to be what's going on the body of the car. So you can see it's ready for paint. That's what's going to be going on the body. And I'm going to be flaking out the roof. I've got some blue flake that I'm going to be putting on the roof. Hopefully my GoPro battery doesn't die on me. Let's see what the flake is going to look like for the roof. Hopefully that's coming in nice and clean. I'm going to be shooting this one today. Uh, SATA 5000. Also from Anthony. Uh, Collision 360. You can see Doug over there. Mike over there. And then, uh, gonna get to it. Everybody hang on, I'll clamp you down. I shot the blue, as you can see. And it looks great. It's covering fantastic. Uh, I had to let the GoPro recharge, so I didn't get a chance to finish the basic process. But this is the first coat of clear that's going down. The roof is gonna be all flaked, so I'm not bothering to paint that. I'm gonna be painting that after. Paint laid out really nice. I wanted to thank Anthony at Collision 360. Thank you very much. The color is like seriously amazing. It's gonna pop like crazy in the sun. This is the first coat of clear. Just putting the gripper coat on. So we'll see you when coat number two comes. Okay, so it's a little easier to talk now as the fan isn't going in the booth. So that's after two coats. It's clear. At the top of the custom paint mix. Now, it's pretty shiny. But it's not going to be perfect, perfect, perfect because I plan on flow coating this car. Anyway, I plan on making it as smooth as glass. There's a couple little things that I want to blow in, a couple of spots that I saw that I really don't like, and I'm going to blow those spots in. But apart from that, it turned out really good. Uh, I'm using the Auto Glass Clear on this. It's a really good system. Please apologize for the mess. It's a lot cleaner. 
uh, been doing a bit of thrashing. But that's the uh, that's the product I've been using the last little while. It's a Valve Fire product, Matrix, Auto Glass. Uh, it's a two to one clear, high solids. Actually, uh, a really, really, really good clear. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, pretty much, if I don't use House of Color, I'm using that. Um, and yeah, so that's where we are on the 60 degree Impala for the time being. Um, she's nice and shiny. Gonna be doing the roof next. Well, not really next. I gotta clean the body up first. And then I'm gonna transfer onto the roof where we're gonna be adding some flake. That's the color of the flake there. I'm gonna try this paint hover stuff. The color is like exactly what it is that I wanted. You can see how it'll match color of the car really well and then I'm going to do all my candy fades and panels and stuff on top of that so it should be really cool so that's about it for now take care bye